Lumos. <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind.
Duncan owes his reputation to you. And your reading is The Dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Revelio. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Incendio. <sighs> A pristine night for Starbucks. The perfect night for. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. 
said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Revelio. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few co Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Incendio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, Amit. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Our meet. Could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Revelio. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, you wait. You are going to be quoted saying just that. This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. So we're poaching. It's enough dumb. This is pointless. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be Over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Azzy, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the hog's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down, for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Off on another adventure, are we? What that does. Depulso. That did it. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Here, 
Levioso! Levioso! I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Be another way in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Arrest their momentum. Compulsor! 
Arrest their momentum. Arrest the momentum. Depulsor. Arrest the momentum. Glacius. Depulsor. Glacius. Accio Confringo Levioso Arresto Momentum Revelio Defendo Accio Wingardium Leviosa Accio Glacius Depulsor Accio Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blasted! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. Revelio. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Not the safest place to sneak into. Accio. Leviosa. Incendio. Confringo. Oh. Revelio. Revelio. <laughs> 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 
incendio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Alohomora. Revelio. Oh no, Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. Revelio.
my wing. It's all right. There we go. There you are. Come on. A lot of more. Hurry. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? How exciting! <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? that Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. 
Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Past the high wing! Slow down now. There we go. with you when you have a moment. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello. Mind you, don't Revelio. If you're stuck with a Dora Call Feather, it doesn't hurt.
Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising. I suppose, the cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to ear with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Oh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Pengist of Woodcock, On in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> Was never one for adventure myself. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
being an office worker. I shall sort something out. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilising magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening and wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnef. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnef's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. <laughs> <laughs> 